ladies and gentlemen, this is the story of passion. I think passion is contagious. This is the incredible opportunity we've got to be entrepreneurial in large companies. Because this crazy world we live in, even if you work for a large company, small company, whatever, everyone is in a startup atmosphere. We all have to think like an entrepreneur. So we have to stop behaving like we're a startup, not behaving like we're in somewhere safe in a comfort zone, because no one in no organization big and small is in a comfort zone anymore. You can be entrepreneurial in a big company or in an established company. Hands up. Startup was something we had to fight really hard to preserve. And that's what we didn't do, which is why the book I've just written, I call it being a startup forever. Each of you are in complete control of your company's culture by changing how you behave every day. So I'm just gonna give you six really easy shifts to just be a tiny bit more entrepreneurial. The fact that we didn't know was actually our biggest advantage because all we had was what the customer wanted. It's almost like if you put virtual reality goggles on that you think what the customer does and that's where your power is because there's a problem your customer's got and you're so obsessed with data and that sort of formal insight, you're not even seeing it. You gotta think in that busy diary, how much of it is about the customer? The less resources you have, the more resourceful you get. Your experience and your knowledge gives you an inferior perspective. I'm an entrepreneur and somehow because I'm an entrepreneur, I've given myself the license to ask stupid questions. So give yourself a new title cheap, stupid question asker. Fear. People think, oh God, we're not fearful in our business. There's a huge amount of fear. There's fear of looking stupid, fear of curiosity, fear of trying things that are not perfect, and fear of getting a no. And the only way not to fail, not to get rejected, is to do nothing. Of course, you'll never experience failure. No one will ever say no if you never have a new idea. But what's the point of that? And when you see it, you grab that little cube of opportunity that's coming to your eyes. And when you grab it, you take the leap. If you take the leap, I for one will guarantee the net will always be there to catch you. That's my story. Thank you very much. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Thank Sarah Hashimi.